Hey everybody, we're going to do a, a ring runner today. We're going to make a little robot that's going to run around the inside of our sumo ring, just hanging off the edge. Very simple little program. It's only going to use one sensor. It's going to use the sensor on the right side of the robot, right in there. We can see the middle sensor is connected up, uh, which we're going to use in the next lab, but we don't need this at this particular point. We're just going to have it using the right sensor alone to follow that, uh, that edge. So how do we do something like that? Well, here's a little uh, algorithm we need to use. It's quite simply says, if the right eye sees white, then bear forward and to the left a little bit. If the right eye sees black, spin to the right. So I'm gonna do a little harder action. You could bear to the right in yours. You can try adjustments to make your robot optimized for its particular speed and, and, and characteristics. So here's our basic little robot. You can see it's right eye right there. So the robot's moving forward. If the right eye sees the white, we want it to go forward, but go to the left a little bit, right? So just kind of bear to the left. If the right eye sees black, we're just going to make the robot kind of spin a little bit until it sees white. And when it sees white, we'll just have it, uh, we'll just have it moving forward to the left again. Just have it moving forward back onto the line. And this is going to cause the robot to kind of make a zigzaggy pattern on the, uh, on the ring like that. Let's have a look at our code. So uh, we can see here, I've got my set point set to around 400, right? Uh, which is good, 300, 400 should be fine. Anything darker than, uh, anything more than 300 would certainly be dark, maybe black. And anything less would be white. So that's a good, that's a good set point to use. I've set up my three eyes, even though I only need the right eye. The right eye goes to analog uh, <coughs> port C, pin one. And here's the bulk of the code from line 61 to line 66. This is all the code. If the right eye is less than the set point, that is to say, if the right eye sees white, bear to the left. If the right eye is greater than set point, or if the right eye sees black, spin to the right. So a spin isn't moving forward. It's just rotating one wheel forward and one wheel backwards. Let's have a look at the bear right and the spin right functions just so you can get that kind of clear. And maybe you can adjust it in yours. So here's our, here's our spin right, and you can see uh, the right motor is going backwards and the left motor is going forwards, and that's going to cause the robot to spin on the spot. And it's a spin right, and there's a spin, spin left, which is exactly the opposite. Here's a bare right and a bare left. In the bare left, uh, the motor is going forward, both motors are going forward, one motor at full speed, one motor at full speed divided by two, half speed, so that's going to cause it to twist. You can also use a uh, little instructions like speed divided by two or divided by four or whatever to adjust your robot. If you find one robot uh, motor is a little hotter than the other one and it tends to bear to the left when you want to go straight, you can use this to adjust it so it uh, goes as straight as you can make it. Um, again, this, this number would change with each individual robot. But uh, and that's basically how you build a very, very simple uh, ring runner edge following robot. So we can't wait to see what you've done.